Welcome back to Mike's and Mustangs, where we feature our student athletes, coaches, and staff. My name is Jaden Harris. I'm Jaheim Henderson, and uh, we're going to dive into this Athletics Week recap. Um, we had a lot going on this weekend. So first, we had men's ice hockey won their games versus Nazareth on Friday and Saturday, two to one and four to zero. Um, men's basketball won on Saturday at St. Joseph's Brooklyn, uh, sixty-five to sixty-two, and then they returned home on Wednesday to beat Lebanon Valley, seventy-two to fifty-two. Good win last night. Um, both our swim teams finished fourth at the Yellow Jacket Invitational at Randolph-Macon this past weekend. And um, Nate Williams set yet another school record another in the shot put record. and weight throw <laughs> at the holiday kickoff at Shenandoah University. Good job, Nate. Mr. Records yes, himself. Um, last but not least, Daniel Johnson and our guest today, Ben Blum, uh, were named to the all-region uh, first team by D3Football.com. Wow, congratulations. Pretty big deal. Congratulations to all the teams uh, getting those dubs this weekend. So, Jaden, what are you looking forward to this holiday season? Spending so much time with my family. <laughs> what are you looking forward to? Uh, <laughs> some of the same. Spending time with my family. Um, excited to see some family members that I haven't seen in a while. So, And most important, sleeping. Yeah, sleeping. that's right. Um, have you gone Christmas shopping yet? Or? Um, kind of, sort of. I feel like I'm Christmas shopping all year. So, okay. Yeah. Well, we're getting to that age you? where the tables have kind of turned. We're doing the gifting now, I guess. Are you still receiving gifts nowadays from your parents? From Santa Claus? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, from Santa. Yeah. Yes, I am. To all the believers out there, Santa's on Just his way. keep believing for that bell. To a chimney <clears throat> near you. <clears throat> now, uh, to introduce our guest for today, um, we have a very... A uh, special member of the football team, uh, dear to my heart. Um, this guy was also named first team all conference, first team all region. Um, he's a junior center here at Stevens University. Welcome, Ben Blum. Ben Blum is in the house. <laughs> What's going on? Well, all right, I dropped the mic earlier, so hopefully this works now. <laughs> oh, okay. How's it going? Good. Thanks for having me. Thanks How for having me. Today, Appreciate guys. it. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Um, so as we've mentioned a few times now, you was mentioned on the, um, uh, first team, all region team. Uh, I saw it yesterday on go Mustangs. When did you find out? So I actually found out, um, through a text from big Dan, um, he like texted me and I saw the text and I was like, Oh wow. Um, I was like, are you serious? And, and he like actually sent me the screenshot of the, uh, of the post of the of of the post of me getting all region, yep. um, and then like probably like a minute later, I got a call from Coach Hoddle, and uh, he was like he was like oh like I was like I was like Big Dan beat you to it, and he was like oh <laughs> he's like he's like oh what did he say? And I was like well, I got first team all region. And he was like he's like yeah man congratulations. I think I think I don't remember exactly what he said after that because. Um, there was a lot of excitement going on, so it's kind of blurry after that. But nice, uh, very honored. Uh, I just, it's just amazing. So, but next goal, you know, uh, upcoming year, I got one more. Um, All American, probably the next goal. Ooh, but uh, you know, it's a good goal. Yeah, I like that one. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, there's, there's not much further you can go <laughs> from first team all region. <laughs> So I feel like the only place I can really bring my next goal is All American. I like it. Uh, so, but I've been getting tons of congratulations, and it's just nice to see hard work pay off. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Speaking of hard work, uh, for all of our fellow football players out there, uh, what do you have for them as far as advice on how to even achieve a goal like this? I think it. it I think it all really comes down to like dedication. Um, I have put everything. I possibly can into football. Um, I've been playing since I was six years old, so uh, actually maybe five. I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but uh, yeah, I mean, I have put every single bit of time that I have into football. Um, it it means the, it means the most to me. So I I have it to thank for uh, my character, uh, my my kindness, like everything. So I've learned that through football. So you are a very kind guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, You've been playing since you were five. Have you 
been playing the same position your whole life? Um, actually, yeah, I pretty much have been playing uh center, and I played a little bit of like guard, uh, just like when I was younger, um, just through youth football, um, uh, because I just kind of played where they needed me, because mm-hmm. I was like sort of a bigger kid, so. And like I had that like nastiness to me, even as mm. even as a little kid yeah. through youth football. So, you know, that's always that's always good. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think pretty much, yeah, I think I've pretty much been playing center my entire career. Um, there was a little bit of a change up my senior year of high school, um, just because I was the only senior offensive lineman. Um, so they put me at guard, and they pretty much just ran it to my side uh pretty consistently um which was always fun um once once the other teams figured out where the ball was going but uh but yeah no center center's been great to me i i it's a great position speaking of guard yeah um that actually just reminded me i was watching a podcast called the punchline okay uh which stars marlon humphrey shout out to marlon humphrey yep and um and jack i believe his last name is letterman maybe i think you're right yeah um I'm a huge Raven, so he went to mcdonald's so uh okay. very local guy um the hot take was that um guard might be the easiest position in football really how do you feel about that i i think that uh any offensive line position should not be grouped into the easiest position at all. Um, because, but like, I feel like you truly do not know how hard the position is yeah, yeah. until you're actually able to like play that position. Yeah. Well, Marlon Humphrey did say it was uh, edge rushers. He said that's, that's like the easiest one. And then Kyle Van Noy was like, no, I think it might be guard. But. Mm. I don't know. They well, say it's a, it's a close uh, one-two punch there. Van Noy. With Van who's, Noy. who's first? Interesting. Van Noy, uh, he's a linebacker. So, yeah. uh, you he, know, he's they, an edge rusher. So Yeah, well. He got a little offended when Marlon offended, said yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> he just pushed it to another. He, just, he was just like, yeah, let, me just, <laughs> let, me just, let me just do something more controversial. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm, that's not true at all. So okay. George well, probably. thought I would bring that up. <laughs> no, see, yeah. see, see what you no, I think, uh, how you felt about that. I think every position on the O-line is – is really hard. I think I think the hardest position on the O line is probably tackle. Okay. I know me I personally, agree. I don't want to ever play tackle. Yeah, I agree with and that. And I played a little bit of tackle. Um but uh I and I did not like it and uh I was not very good at it. So um that's where my experience in the interior line comes in. Good stuff. And luckily enough I can throw the ball in between my legs a lot easier. So I really thought I understood. You know, I was, I was getting some of the positions, and then he said guard and center. And I was like, what? Well, there's yeah. two guards. Not, there's two. You guards. know how there's like oh, the those big guys in front of the guy that throws the ball. Yeah, those are the old line. Man. That's I'm yeah. not gonna lie. The outside guy is a tackle. Inside is a guard. Okay, okay. Actually, the guy in the middle holding the whole thing down. That's Ben Blum. Oh, and they said the that's center. the easiest. Oh wait, no, they no, said no. The guard. position yeah, next to I'm me. I'm sorry. Is I probably easiest. just confused everybody out there. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And then I would say that the only difference between guard and center is I have to snap the ball. Um, okay. I still do a lot of the same stuff that the guard does. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, no, it's just it's, it's not a terrible <laughs> take. Terrible take. Terrible take by Ben Noy there. <laughs> Huge Ravens fan, but, you know, terrible take. Go uh, Ravens, by the way. Yeah, go Ravens. go Ravens. Come on. Um, next, um, I was going to ask you about your journey. You know, you said you've been playing since you were five. Yeah. You are now. I'm 20, 20. now. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's 15 years of your life. Yeah. How's that journey been going oh, from, you man. know, rec ball, I'm assuming, up until yeah, college? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know. I played rec at this program called the Mountain Ray Bulldogs. Um, I actually just got a congratulations Ooh. from one of my old coaches from there. He's a great guy. That's um, tough. So, uh, Coach Jeff. Um, but uh, he, uh, but. Basically, through that program, I remember, like, the first day I showed up to sign up for football with my parents, and uh, I get up to the table, and the guy looks at me, and he's like, he, like, looks at my parents, and he's like, uh, you think uh, he, he could play foot tackle instead of flag? Because you're supposed to start out with flag. Um, but I guess I was, like, a little bit bigger, so they basically just put me in tackle football. Um and of course they asked me and like obviously I said I was gonna play tackle football because 
I mean, I didn't even know that I was going there to play flag. I actually thought I was going there to play tag one in the first place. But uh, my mom, she's always been on the, uh, the oh, it's dangerous side. Like, she, like she wouldn't let me wrestle uh, in high Shout school and stuff. Moms. Yeah, love my mom. Love my mom. But uh, so she's just trying to keep me safe. But she let me play football. So um, that's been good. But I basically started playing there. And um, I think, yeah, I think. Pretty much as soon as I started, I think I played center. Um, and there's been like small changes here and there, but it's always, I've always come back to center. And then uh, throughout high school, I um, I played JV my freshman year. And then I ended up making varsity. And I then I started my sophomore year at South Carroll High School. Shout out South Carroll High School. Um, <laughs> South Carroll <laughs> High School. Uh, I started my sophomore year, junior year, and senior year there. Um, and, you know, I got, like, you know, I got a bunch of the honors um, yeah. there as well, uh, which is always good. Um, and, you know, uh, but, like, the thing about D3 football coming in, uh, I feel like you kind of humble yourself a little bit um, because, you know, you're the guy in high school, and then you show up, and you're just the little <laughs> dog again, man. Yeah. And uh I just remember that transition into uh, like even a D3 program uh, is is you're coming in with all the guys from their programs in high school um, because um, because that's just how it is. And, and that transition, I definitely had to humble myself a little bit because not playing my entire freshman year was definitely like a new thing for me. Right. Uh, just coming down to like, I don't know. I yeah. I I started all three years on varsity, or for three years on varsity, uh, my uh in high school. So, um, mm-hmm. but I uh, um, I'm I'm grateful for that opportunity because it kind of made me work harder. Uh, and I already worked tremendously hard, but it just kind of made me work even harder. Yeah. Um. So, uh, and then that's where I am today. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna move on now to our rapid fire portion. I have. Quite a few questions for you. Rapid fire. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, summer or winter? Uh, winter. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Text or call? Text. Uh. That was slow. That was slower there. Rapid fire. Huh? <laughs> Movies or TV shows? Uh, TV shows. The Office. Got to be every time. That, that's a good every one. Every time. The Office. Every time. <laughs> pancakes sure or time. waffles? Uh, pancakes. Pancakes. Office one. Pancakes. Every time. Got to. Night in or night out? Oh, uh, night in. I don't really go out. I don't like going out. Uh, I haven't done it since freshman year, so like maybe beginning of sophomore year. So. Wow. Morning or night person? Oh, gosh. Rapid fire is not happening on this one. Um, I guess night. Yeah, I guess night. I'm going to be a night person. Yeah. Okay. Nike or Under Armour? Um, Nike. Travel back in time or into the future? Mm, back in time. Be the smartest person alive or be the funniest? Oh, funniest. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> And flats or drums? Flats, flats, flats. Yeah, I was about to say there's only <laughs> flats, one flats, right flats, answer. Flats, flats, flats. No, it's just the rapid fire. It's trust me. Out. No, um, no, but yeah. Um, with the back in time question, um, I had to go back to see Molly Crew, ACDC, uh, all those rock bands. Good man. You gotta see those. You gotta see those in person, man. You gotta experience, you know, the '70s and '80s. Had I like to. It. I would have to. I like it. Also football back then, too. All right, well, we spoke about uh, guard being the easiest position on the field. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's a hot take, I don't know. But what's your biggest sports hot take? Oh, biggest sports hot take. Um, Ooh. Uh, (laughs) This is a good question. Um, I'd say offensive and defensive linemen one-on-ones. It is easier... For the defensive lineman, it was it's specifically built for defensive linemen, and uh, and that is gonna trigger people, uh, especially uh, defensive linemen. So, uh, was that a shot at Big Dan? Um, no, no. We can't, oh, we, can't, we, can't, we can't take shots at Big Dan. We can't take shots at Big Dan. It's just, just uh, any, any defensive lineman who thinks that uh, one on ones aren't specifically built for them, um. That's a shot at them, actually. So I guess technically it is a shot at respect, everybody. Respect, respect. Jaden, do you have a? 
I okay. said this earlier. Um, what did I say? I think I said that track is like the only real sport and everything else is a game. Oh, wow. Then like gymnastics. That's a figure, take. Like, oh, you know wow. What I'm that's saying? a take. That's a take. Everything I'm not mad at that either. That's like. Track. Initially, I was mad at it, but like track athletes are like real athletes. I'm that's, not going to lie. That's <laughs> real. That's facts. I like that. Okay. I can run with that. Okay. What's yours? You like that? Um, <laughs> you see, like that I don't really, yeah, that was a good one. Um, I don't really know if I have a hot take. Sorry to disappoint, guys. I mean, like, you could say, like, the Steelers Anything. suck. Like, we could say. Well, yeah, I mean, we are definitely <laughs> the steel curtain around here. Uh, <laughs> Flock Nation, baby. Uh, <laughs> big trust. Ooh, ooh, yeah, Lamar Jackson. <clears throat> Okay, so <laughs> wow, Mark Ingram over here, Mark Ingram. yeah, facts. Uh, meet us at the bank, uh, yeah, this <laughs> weekend. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay, we can move on. <laughs> all right, we're going on to teammate superlatives. Um, okay, so most likely to become president on your team. Oh, Heem, Heem, Heem is a president. I now. knew you were gonna say president that. Heem, Prez Heem, Heem. Thanks, boy. Jaheem the president. Oh, wow. That's good. That's what it is. Thank you. I just warmed my heart. Of course. Oh, my gosh. Most likely to be caught singing or dancing. Dude. <laughs> um, oh. Jaheem Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's I think, I think, I mean, I just, I, just, I feel like these questions are geared towards him at this point. Right. I don't know. Yeah. There's bias here. Okay. Who would you call with your one phone call from jail? Oh man, I got to shout out uh my boy John Avera. Oh my gosh, I would have to call John Avera because he would pick me up, but it would be it would be like it'd be like he'd pick me up and then he'd be laughing like <laughs> he'd be laughing at me as he'd pick me up. Um but yeah, no, he's one of my best friends. He's a good guy. He would definitely pick me up. So, side note from our superlatives. <laughs> what do you think you would go to jail for? Uh Dine Dash. Um, Dine Dash. That's, that's, that's food. Like... Food is expensive, <laughs> and with the amount I eat, <laughs> food is really expensive. So I would say Dine Dash every that time. So Speaking great. of rapid fire, that should have been one of the questions. <laughs> yeah, that was fast. Up. You knew exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was uh, good. Yeah, no. Uh, Dine Dash. It's got to be. All right. Steal the food. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> need it. Don't have the money for it, but I need it. So that's what it is. What would you go to jail for? Um, I don't know. Probably like jaywalking or something. I don't know. Jaywalking? Yeah. I don't think they take. You I don't to like jail for jaywalking. Yeah. I don't think they take you to jail for jaywalking. What would you go to jail for? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> um. So I have like some distinct thoughts, but um, I don't know how to word this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It would probably be something like absolutely insane, like the most outlandish thing you can think of. Like, for example, <clears throat> I mean, I have an example for him. Like, I'll, I'll give you like an outlandish. <laughs> he would climb on top of something, start dancing on it, and then they would arrest him for that. Probably. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. that's 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 a pretty. Oh, you guys good. are like on the surface, like yeah. I don't know. I feel like I would like. Uh, you know what? We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Who on the team would you not want to go on a cross country road trip with? Oh Ooh. man, not want to go on a cross country road trip I, with. Mm. I would say. <sighs> this is a hard question. Um, I like everybody on the team really, but uh, I think for cross country road trips. I would have to say um, Houston, <laughs> um, and it, and it's no like I'm not dissing him at all. It's just uh, I think it just wouldn't. I think his I think his aux would be good. Like I think his music would be wonderful, but like I don't know. Like I just think I just think he'd have his feet up on my dashboard yeah. or something like yeah. that. Speaking and, of feet up, yeah, every away game, feet up. On the chair. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. which is which is no big deal. Like, I'm sure if I asked him, it'd be fine. But yeah. I feel like just for the sake of the question, uh, I guess you, I guess Houston. Yeah, I love you, man. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you just. I feel like I just. I feel like that's the only answer. That's the I only like viable it. option. I like it. 
Um, this is like kind of another hot take. We're big on hot takes today. I don't know what's up with that. But All right. what is the most overrated Christmas movie? Most overrated Christmas movie. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Um There's only one wrong answer, by the way, but go there's ahead. There's only one wrong answer. Yes. Yeah. But go ahead. Um I'm gonna say Dude, there's so many good Christmas movies. Which one do I not like? I'm trying to think of which one do I not like watching. That's like, facts. Most like when I sit down, when I sit down and think about Christmas movies, um, what's that one? Um, is it I, is it a Christmas? It's with the donkey, and like like the like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is it? Is that a Christmas movie? No. <laughs> I mean, there's a gingerbread man in it. Oh, gosh. Um, what is it? Is that a Christmas movie? No. I don't know. All right. I don't know. That's a good... I, I don't know. I'm, okay. I'm lost on that one. I'll tell you what my favorite Christmas movie is. All right, is. Let's, let's do that one. My favorite set of Christmas movies would be the Santa Claus movies. I grew up watching those. I really like those movies. Um... I think it's hilarious how fast he gets fat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's just funny, and um, obviously Elf is great. But ooh, Elf is great. But yeah, the I love the bathroom scene scene when he's like singing on the, when he's sitting on the counter singing while the girl's singing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, well, for me, it's like, why didn't she notice that earlier? Like, yeah, she obviously noticed it, right? Yeah, I don't know. I guess. But that's like one of my favorite Christmas songs ever. Baby, it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. That song got some like pretty negative heat yes, over the did. recent years. It did. I'm sorry about that, but uh, it's a hot take of mine. I love that song. That's my that's my beautiful girlfriend's favorite song too. So really can't. That Stay was yeah. That's Baby, it's cold right outside. Yeah. That was so cute. That's a great song. Wow. Glad we agree on that. For sure. Um, do you have an overrated Christmas movie, Jaden? Yeah. What's up? Um, probably Pope. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, I was about to say that's kind of that's kind of wild. Um, I it. I mean, um, it popped into my head. I won't lie, it did pop into my head. But Polar like, Express. Then, well, then I was like, that's only because that is the it. most like popular. Well, yeah, it's just like one. you didn't want to. It's just like all the Christmas movies popped in my head, and I, I was just like, if I have to say an answer, but I realize yeah. I don't have to say an answer. I really yeah, don't facts. have like an overrated. Maybe maybe low key like uh, Scrooge. Like, oh, okay. Low key, like, okay. I like it, but, like, I'm kind of, like, over... But, like, mm, it depends on the year. Yeah, but, like, for sure. I definitely love the Grinch low-key. Like, yeah. Is it... That's great. Is yeah, it true Jim that... Carrey, yeah, Tim Carrey. Yeah, that's a good one. Is it true that Tom Hanks was, like, every character character in uh, The Polar uh, Express? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that I just saw that this, this, I saw like, that this weekend. I'm like... He wasn't no every way. character. Yeah. I think he was... Most of them, right? I think he was, yeah. He, he was, like, the bearded... He was, like, the... He was Santa, um, the kid... Um, the, the train guy, the, the train guy, and the crazy guy. Yeah, that was on, on the, the train. train. Yeah, oh, wow. but that's all I saw. But I that's a lot of I characters, mean, though. I think I think it might have been more. Yeah, so, but I don't hundred yeah. percent. Uh-huh. But yeah, no, that's uh-huh. pretty cool. Speaking of actors, I don't know. This is just my thing. Um, who's your top three? I'll give you mine, and you give me yours. Top three actors. No, I'll give you mine, then you give me yours. Oh, you go first. All right, cool. Uh, mine's Denzel. Okay. Uh, Tom <laughs> Hanks. Okay. And um, Liam Neeson. All right. Top yeah. three actors. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's go. Rain and Wilson, uh, Dwight Schrute, number one. Um, <laughs> because that is the greatest show of all time, and I love Dwight. Dwight Schrute, yeah, like come on, like no one else. There is not a single other person on this on this planet that can play Dwight Schrute. And then <laughs> last but not least, Jim Carrey. And no, then, that was three. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's three? Yeah, just three. Pretty, pretty valid, yeah. That was pretty good. Valid three, though. Jim yeah, Carrey is a legend, by the way. Yeah, He's a legend. Really Never forget that. All right. Thank you, Ben, for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Good luck to all of our Stevenson students on their finals. Make sure to follow us at Go Mustang Sports on Instagram, Threads, X, and TikTok. Subscribe to Stevenson Athletics' YouTube channel. And be on the lookout for more Mikes and Mustangs coming your way.